keep calling your daggum parents because you're bad. Because I'm going to tell you something. I've already called some of you guys' parents. From this point on, I write you up. I don't, I don't actually talk just to your parents. Because if all of a sudden I talk to your parents and it ain't working out, it just ain't working out. Now, I know my telephone number has been delivered to a couple people inside this, this class. It's been delivered to a couple of your parents who are actually going to get it to your parents and your father because I don't have your phone number because you never filled out my yellow form. My NCY is up now. Thank goodness. You know, your parents go over here. I try to be nice. But you know what? Then you don't want to be nice to my subs. Well, uh, niceness isn't... Look, being nice to you that doesn't pay off. Being nasty, you might pay off. But what you guys got going on here today, it ain't working. If all of a sudden we're doing notes something like this up here, you're sitting back there, and Craig, you're still sitting right here. You are not moving out of your seats. You stay in your seats. Don't you move out of those seats. Everybody understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So you make sure you're where you need to be. You make sure you're doing what you need to do. Because I'm taking your cards with me. I'm taking your telephone numbers with me. And uh, you know, if i got to make phone calls, I'll make phone calls. And I'll tell your parents, they need to straighten it up, and they need to get straightened up now. Because if they don't, I'm going to have myself write you up. I'll tell her exactly what to write up, and I'll have you out of here just about as fast as your head can spin. I'll have you out of here one day OSS, two days OSS. Uh, I'll have you down in ISS. I'll have you so you're not actually participating inside this class. And maybe you don't want to participate in here anyway. I done told you. You don't want to participate in here? Get the crap out of here. Leave. Quit wasting my time. Quit wasting everybody else's time in here too as well. Anybody have questions? <laughs> <laughs> you got uh, mad, dude. By the way, by the way, <laughs> by the way, Kyrie already knows. I tell the sub to turn this in. He turns it in. He's going out. He's going out for two days. He's probably going out two days. Right. And I'm going off the football Kyrie. team, too. He'll be going off the football team. Look, I'm trying to do everything to keep Kyrie on the football team, but you know what? Kyrie's not doing anything to help himself. He's not doing anything to actually make my life easy. I've talked to Kyrie. I've discussed with Kyrie. We have had a discussion. We have talked. We have gone there, and I have talked to his coaches. I'm trying to stay out of the office. I'm trying to stay out of the office with these babies right here. I don't like paperwork, but I have filled it out. If it's got to be turned in, we just do what it's got to do to be turned in. If you want some days OSS, you let me know. I can get you, and I can tell you ways you can get days OSS. I can get you. I mean, I promise you, I can get you as many days OSS as you want. All you got to do is do what I tell you to do, and I can get you those days OSS because there are certain things that you can do at this school that get you OSS, and it's not necessarily going to get you down at the courthouse. You go pull a fire alarm, it's going to get you to the courthouse. If you go over here and actually bring a weapon on campus, it's going to get you to the courthouse. You go and actually strike a public school employee, it's going to get you down to the courthouse. You go out and have a fight in the school, it's going to get you down to the courthouse. But you go out and, look, we go, I go out and stand in the hallway. I can open up the door to the office. You can cuss me out inside the hallway. That's going to get you days OSS. It ain't going to be no court date on it either. <laughs> you know what I mean here, guys? I tell you we get it. We can get you that. You can get yourself days OSS without any kind of court date. All you got to do is walk across the street over there. Tell me, hey, Mr. Farmer, I'm going to walk across the street. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> hey, beautiful. Hey, just tell me when you get back and I'll write you up if that's what you want me to do. I can get you two days OSS for that. And I was telling him I saw you walk across the street. He told me you walked across the street. So if you don't want to be here, guys and gals, we can get away that you don't have to be here. You don't have to come to school. Now, 14 years old, we got compulsory school rules. You do have to come to school, but, you know, I said, you can still get yourself out of here. Okay? Uh, folks, I'm just, I'm just, I'm trying to help you out. I'm trying to help you out to help me out. If you actually can't behave, and you can't behave on that day that my son's going to be in here, how about doing this? Just don't come to the class. You go find something else to go do during that time. Now, you'll be written up for skipping class. You stay on campus, you'll, I believe it's ISS or whatever. And they find you on campus, they're probably going to actually wonder why in the world you're not inside your class. Don't, hey, don't tell them I told you not to come to class. You just decide. You made the decision not to come to class. But you don't want to mess it up for everybody else. Everybody else wants their points. You go down to Mr. Richard. You know you're going to come in here, you're going to be a, a, a horse's rear end. You just go down to Mr. Richard. You go down to Mr. Um, Rod down there. You go down and find one of those guys tell Mr. Mr. Rod, Mr. Richard, I'm going to be a, I'm going to be a horse's rear end inside Mr. Faulkner's class, and I feel it coming on, so I think I need to actually probably stay over here and do my